Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This video is on the Kenwood VCH1 visual communicator. This unit allows you to send and receive slow scan pictures over the air. You plug it into a handheld mobile unit or HF set, take a picture and push send and it will transmit that picture over the air. They were made roughly late 90s and were out for a, a few years. They're unfortunately ceased production and they occasionally come up on the second hand market. I picked my one up from a local rally. A lot of people picked it up and then put it straight down again. I don't think they actually knew what it was. Being um, quite interested in all the products that are out there on the market, I, I knew what it was straight away. I think a lot of people think it's an old analog TV. So um, it does help to know about the older products and how useful they still can be. So it's got a 1.8 inch TFT color display. You've also got a quarter inch 2700 pixel CCD camera. The camera also rotates. So you can take a selfie or you can take a picture of the scenery or a picture of your shack. The camera also detaches. It has a 3.5mm jack and you can plug in possibly a better camera. I haven't tried that out yet. It's got a built-in speaker and microphone so you can actually use it as a handheld microphone for your radio and it all runs off 4 AA batteries. And there are the batteries in the back already. You've got the option of plugging six volts into the side. There's a COM port on the top to plug into a PC and you've got video out. You've got a PTT button and a function button and then there's a few buttons across the front of the display. To use this you will need the lead. Lucky enough mine came with a lead when I purchased it. It's like a, an old phone charger lead and it's obviously pre-wired for a, hand, a handheld. You can obviously modify by either chopping off that connector but in preference I'd probably look at getting the actual sockets to save chopping the lead. I'd put some sockets on pre-wired for whatever other radio you're going to use it for. So let's power the unit up And there you can see the coloured display and a picture of two radios that I've already taken. Prove the point that the camera still works. There is the Kenwood THD72. Let's uh, turn the camera around. This button on the side allows you to take the picture. So there's the radio. If we push the button, we've now got a live view of the radio. And if I push the button again, has now taken a picture of that radio. So let's plug it in and uh, test it over air. I'll just do a quick test here and then I will show you another video or another section of the video actually transmitting it over the air and we're receiving it on another radio with a laptop. You don't need to have two of these units to do slow scan. It's not like you've, you've got to have one and your friend's got to have one. You can transmit to any other person that's got um, MMS TV on their uh, computer. So uh, let's give that a go. So uh, we'll be back in a second. Right, so we've got the cable plugged into both units. And I'm currently on 144575. And to prove that the uh, it can be used as a speaker microphone as well, if I push the side button, you can see it keys up the radio. 
I've got another handheld, the Bofang, which is also tuned to 144575. And let's check the audio, the volume level. Not that one. Well, that should be loud enough. And I can put that there, put that there. To send that picture, all I need to do is a TX button. If I push TX, You can see there's a line going down the screen that's basically sending that picture. You can also see I've got my call sign on the picture as well, and you hear the different sound. That's it, and that picture was sent over the air. So I'll have a, a plug into another radio in the shack and we'll get that up all up and running. And we'll actually send another picture over the air to something that you can visually see it coming through. Just a quick few bits and pieces. If I unplug that, move that to the side. You can take your call sign out if you don't want it on there. Literally by turning the unit off and if you hold the whole button, it says call off. So it means call sign is not going to be there. If I want to change the call sign, turn the unit off. And it's going to be the, the tricky bit. So you've got to hold M, R and hold and on. And then it gives you that display with a load of segments. Press the uh, M, R button and that allow you to entering the call sign. So, there are manuals still online that you can find, which is how I uh, came across those bits and pieces. Receive wise, it obviously receives as well. So it will receive um, Robot 36, Robot 72, AVT 90 and AVT94, Scotty S1, Scotty S2, and Martin M1 and Martin M2. So uh, I'll be back in a sec and we'll have it all plugged into another setup and uh, send some pictures just locally between two radios in the shack. But you actually see the image actually going across. So I'm in the shack, I've got MMSS TV set up on the PC using a Yaesu FT817 receiver. That's uh, the image I've just taken a photograph of and here's the radio. So basically I'm going to hit the TX button you can now start to see the image coming up here And that line is coming down. And that is that image sent. So I'll go to camera again. Photograph of that. I can then return that. The call sign is on. Let's take a photograph of that again. send that picture
So that image has been sent over. And as you can see, that is the image there. Just a quick pan of the radio. see the display but it's on 144575 so uh, FT817 with the signal link and then plugged into the PC with MM SSTV so you're thinking great if you've got a Kenwood handheld or a Kenwood radio it's only good for that no if it comes with the lead and you've got this type of adapter Purchase a 3.5mm socket and a 2.5mm socket, plug them in and then just wire it for your radio. Also the Bofangs, this one is a UVR5 RC Plus, that has the same adapter, microphone connections for Kenwoods, so that's the lead, plugs directly into the side, and what we can do, turn the unit on, let's take another picture of, let's say, the actual radio itself. sure the lead is in there correctly which it is then if we press the TX button you can see the red LED come up transmitting and in the corner you can see the image That's it. So even Bofangs, Wuxons or Wushens, however you want to pronounce those top the radios, there's the uh, image that is sent, can be used. So uh, if you ever see these at uh, a radio rally or online, I would say I wouldn't pay more than about, well the guy that I was speaking to, he said it was worth valued between 35 and 70 pound. I paid 50 quid, so 50 pounds I thought was a reasonable price for the unit, for what it is, subject to obviously not testing it at the radio rally. So I, I took a chance and it all works absolutely fine. So. Uh, Full part figure, 40 to 50 pound, and you can have a bit of fun. And it's not just limited to two meters. There are people out there still doing it on two meters. But, uh, wire it up for another radio, do it on 20 meters. It'd be good if you could um, generate some interest in your local area, if you go out Ideal for SOTA especially, I think. If you're a SOTA operator, you could um, maybe activate the uh, the trick point and send some slow, slow scan TV. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Seven three.